Are you on the aisle yet? Does the Xenovox work? Can you hear me? What? I can't hear. Great, broke already. Sheesh, should I this magic? What did you say? Not some interference. You must be very careful. Okay. You explode, you explode. Perfect. Rough things are very dangerous, man. I can tell you bugger tick. Sliver. Oh. Them in. Wonder what killed them. Doesn't look like the work of necrophages. Maybe if you use uh not this, uh this. Nope. And we got Michael. There should be Oh chest that I mean, doesn't sap. So the places that you wanna search around are Oh god, oh god, Rothfield. Oh, there it is. That's one place. When you see uh, a green light, that means you are in a red place. Let's try Kira's lamp. Yeah. They left us. Look, all of them done went. We've to swim. Come on. What about all of this? I can't leave it. You go. Find a boat and come back for me. If you make it across. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Be back before you know it. You get 50 XP a pop. And now you want to go. You want to go here. And there should be another corpse. There you go. To us. They'll not let Graham in. Quiet, fool. Babylon and the noble himself will hear you. Nah, he sat his arse on silk pillows, lightly be gobbling meat. <laughs> With no notion we he's coming to tear him to shreds. Waste clear, lads. Adam! There you go. And then. There should be a water egg. There you go. Let's see. Quinn. Another necrophage. Necrophage. Let's see here. There you go. Jordan is so powerful. God damn. And still no water instance. God damn it. And then there's the last place where the bones were. Exactly over here. Now let's see. Millie, we gotta flee. Quick now. Millie. M Millie, what's with you? I don't know. So up. Uh... Burning. Ah. What? No. No. Stay back. Don't leave me. There you go. And now we can explore a little bit. Let us climb up the tower. What's this? There's a lot of rats. Let us explore this. Peasants didn't come here to ask nicely. Okay. Place is full of rats. As many dead as alive. I think they're feeding on. Don't scare off shop. You need to leave the There's a chest over here. And... Okay. Many 
must have died here. But senior. Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shy. Be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! There you go. Okay. Right around here there should be Okay. Another step for the link. Wait. Rich folk. That will ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe? Like to die of hunger if we leave him there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing him's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for him. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, that stench! There you go. Got a more 50 point experience points. Oh, more magic lamp. Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'm not hearing them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants, they're through the door in the tower. Okay, we're gonna we're getting a little bit more more of a backstory, which is nice. I already know the backstory of this, but it's still nice to know. The candles let them uh, let themselves up. More ratty rats. Oh, there's a chest. Let me see if I can do something with alchemy. Okay, no, we cannot. Superior and SP style. We need buzzing grass. Okay. And there's more sex. Okay, follow the concoction. Okay. And then. Still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? Someone got really slapped. I found a lot of crossbows. That's nice, but strange at the same time. Oh. Where are you? Have you got to the laboratory at the top of the tower yet? I'm at the top. Nothing here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage. Hmm. 
I wonder where what this means. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor, or dragged it from one wall to the other repeatedly. And it's opened. Nice. Looks like a laboratory. Pretty well equipped, too. Wait a second. We st I will just explore the top. See if we got something. Kept in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Yeah. That's very bad. Oh, we got this. We need to be careful. Just okay. Nice, nice, nice. Pretty shitty way to die. So there's someone crying. Oh, experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the conclave were still in charge. Can the woman please stop crying? Lizards. Loot. The Mage Alexander's Log Part 1. I'm just gonna read the whole of this. Ocean Vial. Okay. Oceans, blizzards. Thank God we got a golem's art. A decoction, fogless decoction. Perfect. Let us switch. Why did you leave? You claim to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I were hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Who lived here? Who was he? Alexander? I hardly knew him. He spent most of his time locked away in this tower. He's dead too, you know. They're all dead. Mountains of corpses, yet I stand here alone, all alone. They've all abandoned me. Even he who promised me everlasting love. You will abandon me as well. If I can lift the curse, you yourself will be free to leave. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No. They came to rob and kill. They thought us a witch. Believe we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. 
Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What kind of potion was it? Remember its smell, what it looked like? I remember only that I feared to drink it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Your beloved failed to save you. Why? There were too many. Leave her be, he shouted. He grabbed at them, tried to stop them. They just laughed. Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms, tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? Uh, can you talk to other souls? Can you talk to the island's other specters? No, I'm alone here. The others, they flee when they see me. I know not why. You do not fear me, do you? No. Used to dealing with ghosts. Though, gotta admit, there's something about you. You're... different. Uh, found a fresh corpse in the tower. You weren't the last to die on this island. Found a fresh corpse in the tower. The island's a dangerous place. Folks should not venture here. I too wish to leave. The dead man looked like a monster had attacked him recently. The tower home to anything else? How am I to know? There's lots of wraiths here. I, I, I hear them whispering every night. Not talking about ghosts. A monster who hunts here. You must have noticed something. I don't know. I've noticed naught. Why do you ask? Why must you press me so? You ought to be my savior, not my tormentor. How can I help you? How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. Uh, Graham, tell me about him. Your beloved. Who is he? A noble son? No, a poor fisherman. My father objected. Strongly. He did not see us together. I miss him so. Each night I walk to the island shore to gaze upon the village. Does he remember me still? Hmm. Said before you can't leave the tower. Did I? You must have misheard. I don't think so. I... I don't know anymore. It's all a nightmare to me. Oh, she's lying. She's lying. 
The curse is focused on you. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse, that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Now you need to decide fine or no, not sure I trust you. Or you just can leave. The best option really is saying not sure I trust you because you will know, you will know what she is. Really sad story, but something's not right. Got a feeling. What is it? You're not telling me everything. You know the island's dangerous, but refuse to tell me about the monster that lives here. There is no monster. Got a feeling you might be lying. I think you're lying. Question is, why? To protect the beast? Or is it that- Stop! I will not hear this! I can't help you. Taking anything off this cursed island, from any cursed place, just too dangerous. And a dead woman's bones, that's asking for trouble. They said witches are heartless beasts. Will you bring Graham here then? I so long to say goodbye. Annabelle, listen. You never wish to help me, and here I have someone who finally take pity on me. Stupid <laughs> She's a plague maiden, basically. So, oh, or a pest. Yeah. So, let's use Zerden. Okay. Gotta catch her, so you need to kill them. So you can, we need to follow her, the Pesta, which is the form of a Plague Maiden, meaning if we help her, uh, we took um, her bones to Graham, uh, she would just um, betray us and spread plagues to the world. And now... There is, and now we we are going to fight her here. And we cannot kill her because we need to lift the curse first. Looks like I need to get her beloved to the island. Fisherman named Graham. I know the man. He lives in Oriton, village on the lakeshore. Find him immediately. We're close to unraveling this. I can feel it. There we go. Now we need to take the boat, the boat to to Oriton, because there are a lot of stuff going. There we go. Okay, can I not, can I not climb here? There we go. And we need to knock. Knock, knock. I want to talk. You deaf dumbass, I told you. Who are you? I'm a witcher. 
What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. Did you love her? I... Something mad. Loved her so deep I believed we'd come through, believed we'd be together. Of course, it was not to her father's liking. His daughter and a plain lout. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. For Millie, Finch and Faulkner, they rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noble. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape. For as Ben, she drank the poison. Mage must have forgave her. I ran out the tower, hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. Said you were hollering as you fled the tower, the island. What exactly did you say? I... remember... I wanted them to pay for what they'd done to her. Might have cursed them. There's a powerful magic aura on Fike Isle. Passions, evil intent, strong emotions of any kind can activate it. Your words could be the curse's source. She took the poison because of them. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her. Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, Tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was a... Can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged to open your eyes. I never thought... It's not your fault. No guilt in not knowing. And you couldn't know it wasn't poison she drank. Gods, what have I done? If I had stayed behind to bury her, I did not notice she was alive. It might have ended different, ended well. If you'd stayed on the island, I doubt you'd have survived. I take death over leaving her to the rats like that. <sighs> There's naught I can do about it now. Wrong on that count. Annabelle needs you. You can help her. She's still there. In the tower. Can I see her? Yeah. One thing you should know, though. In death, Annabelle turned into a pester. A pester? What's that? More than a restless ghost. A plague maiden, a powerful wraith filled with grief and hatred that drive her. Give her the power to sow disease and death. She suffers. How am I to help her? Gods know I'm willing. Annabelle thinks you abandoned her. Gods! Oh, she hates me. And all this time she's thought I ran, abandoned her. Yes, go to the tower, talk to her. Maybe you can convince her that's not how it was. I thought she died. I'd never have left her there otherwise. A curse has imprisoned Annabelle and the other spirits on the island. Love can shatter its power, free her and them. Just as in the legends. If you know the legends, you know one kiss is enough to break an evil spell. On one condition. That it's a kiss from someone whose love is true. I told you. I said I love her with all my heart. Take me to her, please. It's dangerous. There are risks involved. Understand that, don't you? Of course. I'm no coward. I'll not run this time. 
Nothing. Meet you by the tower on Fike Isle. Good. I'll await you there. There you go. And now you can explore a little bit more of his hut. And examine. A girl and plated flowers. Looks like a small shrine. We got that little interaction there. Let's go to the tower. Let's go to the tower. Come on now. Ugh. Oh Jesus Christ, there are a lot of ghost ears. Get wrecked, noob. Last I came to here, I still hope to Annabelle and me. It weren't impossible. We could have been together, and now she's dead. And it's my fault. If only I'd been able to protect her. Can't change the past, but you can still help Annabelle to move on, to rest in peace. Yeah, that's true. It's too quiet. Chop, chop. Speed up. Let's get this over with. Yeah. The screams. Inhuman they were. Now it's silent. They're dead. All dead. Don't think about that. Keep walking. Okay, let's... Let's go. And finally, we can finish this quest. You have not forgotten. You've returned for me. Is... is... is that... It's me, Adam. The one you abandoned, remember? you was dead if i'd known otherwise i'd never have left you i'd do anything for you i would you know that well believe me i beg you prove it kiss me graham careful The curse is lifted, and Graham and Annabelle are reunited. There you go. Curse lifted. Oh, the Mage Alexander's log. Okay. 
Oh look, Yura. Geralt, just when I was starting to miss you. Bye, Kyle. I managed to remove the curse. Fike Isle's free of its curse. Able to persuade Graham to go to the tower with you? Did you mention there was a pester involved? He knew the risks, but he'd also heard lots of stories about true love, whose kiss can break any spell. Can't help thinking that gave him courage. And? It ended well? Depends how you look at it. Curse is lifted, Annabelle's spirit is left in peace. But Graham's dead. Oh, poor boy. Still, he's proved that true love may be more common than some suppose. Uh, what you want to do with the lamp? The lamp? What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore, given the aisle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. Alexander was doing some strange research. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. Farewell. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps, perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Did you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Fine, I'll look into it. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bell. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. And now, because we finished this quest... Oh, damn. Uh, now we need to be at the ready because a lot of events will happen right now. But first, we will. Magic trap. Arching art. Yeah. Third uh, regeneration plus 1.5. Those purses on fire, we need to run. The Baron has set the, the castle on fire. Let's have Ardat ready. to the stable what fire you blind nobody willing to put it out ain't that simple most are afraid baron flies into a rage he takes no prisoners my brother's in the stable we've got to save him he'll burn alive him and the horses uh i'll try see what i can do hurry now quick yeah we need to be very quick So, okay, so we need to climb here. And the watch horses and the dude's brother is safe. Now, running against the Baron. <laughs> We've a hero in our midst. You've earned yourself a barrel of Lyrian. I know your wife miscarried. Was that before or after you beat her to a pulp? 
fuck are you suggesting? Don't play me for a fool. You'd been beating them for years. Finally, they'd had enough and fled. Sound about right? They ran from you, didn't they? Lying prick! Oh, come on! There you go, easy enough. Sit down. You beat them. I never laid a finger on Samara. Not once. And on Anna. That's another story. She always knew how to spark my ire. Your wife. How'd she make you angry? Too much salt in the soup? Socks never darned? Twenty years we've known each other. She seen me drunk and sober. She was there to greet me when I returned the victor. She was there to patch me up in defeat. Like no other, she knew where to press, where to pinch, so it would hurt. You beat her? For that? For criticizing you? Oh, Witcher, you haven't a clue, have you? Well, perhaps I shall tell you about it one day. One day. But not today. Expect me to believe you are a loving father to Tamara after that scene in the courtyard? You're free to believe whatever you wish, but she was always the apple of my eye. She had the run of the place, ask anyone. She'd ride the horses, hunt with the men, at times join them on their rounds. And they'd send for her when I flew into a rage, for only she could calm me. Make it sound like she led a charmed life. If that's the case, why'd she run? I'd hardly need you if I knew. You knew they had run away from the start. Yes, I knew. Why didn't you tell me? Wasted my time. Say I had. Say I'd said I had troubles. Couldn't control my wife, my daughter. What kind of flaccid prick would you take me for? Tell me everything you remember about the day they fled. The truth this time. I'd been soaking myself three days straight. Anna came to me, said they were leaving. I begged them to stay. She refused to hear it. I tried to stop her. She wriggled like an eel. We struggled. She fell. Last blasted thing I remember. Woke up in the morn, breeches heavy with my own piss. A large bump on my head. Sadly, they were gone. Know what that's like, Witcher? No. How the fuck could you? I was left with nothing. Nothing! Only the bottle. Signs of a fight in the room. Hole in the wall, wine all over the landing. Was that you? Oi. We tussled. She tried to whack me on the noggin with a candlestick, but kept missing. Hit the wall and the pillar instead. I staggered backwards onto the table, spilled the wine, slipped and tumbled. Anna used that moment to flee. She rushed down the stairs, still clutching that damn candlestick. I caught her on the landing. We fell. I, I thought I had her. Then she turned and smacked me in the head. I blacked out. Don't know what happened next. When I came to, I was alone. Tomorrow present for all this, she see you quarrel. 
Through the doorway, perhaps. She didn't enter the room. Shame, too. Things might have turned out differently. The sight of her always calmed me. What happened next? Next? It only got worse. I awoke at sunset, not knowing how many days had passed. Thought it was all a plowing, drunken nightmare. And then I went to the bedchamber, and Anna was not there. Instead, there was blood everywhere. I knew she'd miscarried. My breath short, my throat locked. I neared the bed and saw it. It lay there, a tiny thing, defenseless, on bloodied sheets, dead. And it was my doing. Seen a lot of dead in my time, but that must have been hard. Unspeakably so. My legs gave out. I saw fields of corpses at Sodden. Saw witches burn in Maribor. But compared to this, all that was a rabbit's prick alongside a great oak. And the guilt is all mine. We don't know that yet. The amulet and the war could be linked somehow. Maybe the fact that she lost it. What did you do with the child? Wrapped it in a clean sheet and buried it. Just like that? Damn you! I gave no thought to a funeral. It was a horror. I wanted it to end. That child had been my dream. I told Anna, the little one, our little one, to make things right. Yet she died before she could be born. Understand, Witcher. My child was dead. I sympathize. I do. Thank you. And know that I hope you find your city. Deal we made means I need to find Tamara and Anna first. Just so happens your unborn daughter might help us do that. What? How? Sometimes miscarried fetuses, if they don't get a proper burial, turn into botchlings. Into fucking what? A cursed creature that draws strength from killing pregnant women. Once it's strong enough, it attacks those who scorned it. But how? How does it know? Blood ties. They're a strong bond. A bond I want to use to find your family. How? One of two ways. Legends claim you can bury a botchling under the family's threshold, perform a ritual, and turn it into a lubberkin. That's a sort of, uh, hob. A guardian spirit that could lead me to your family. And the other way? We kill it and draw some blood. Take that to the Peller and he does the rest. Do not kill my child. It's suffered enough already. Lift the curse that it may finally rest in peace. Still not sure what to do. Whatever you decide, we must put an end to my child's suffering. Whatever we do, we gotta find the botchling first. I'll show you where I buried her, and I'll dig the grave at my threshold. If it turns out we can't transform the botchling into a lubberkin, they can bury us in it. Handy either way. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. And try to sober up. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. A bit further. Follow me. Man, this scene always gets me. And attention to detail, uh, the line of salt, and all that. 
Let's go. You give the child a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. Here's the spot. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it, will you relent? I'm plowing now, I've done wrong. Good. The grave's dug up and empty. What's that mean? Watch things on the prowl. You can either decide to attack or turn the bustling to a lover king. Turn the bustling to the lover king. Arms, quick. It's the best option. Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling. I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. Back no. The what? With this? As I recall, you were the one who wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. And now the... The longest... Export mission ever for me at least. We need to have Yerden and Axie at the ready. Then have Axiot ready. There we go. And there will be like two more waves or one more wave. What do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. If the tales are true, by tomorrow it'll be a lubricant. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. Yeah, another. Jordan is so useful. Okay. There we go. And last on the list. There. Nope. One left.
chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's... it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? No more waves after this, and we are done with the quest, kind of ish. What now? Repeat after me. By the powers of earth and sky. By the powers of earth and sky. By the world that was to be your home. By the world that was to be your home. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. Forgive me, you who came, but who I did not embrace. I name thee, say her name, and embrace thee as my daughter. I name thee, Daya. And embrace thee as my daughter. Good. Now bury the body. now in one day's time Dea should turn into a lubberkin I'll stay here and wait you go home I'll wait with you out of the question but that's my child and the guilt the responsibility for all this lies with me time for parental impulses it's long past besides nothing else you can do here but no buts just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. There you go. And now we need to sit and wait.